हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी क्लासेस फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ तुझे टॉपिक इज सेल द द बेसिक एंड फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सेल इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ द सेल वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय रॉबर्ट हुक इन 1665 रॉबर्ट हुक वाज द साइंटिस्ट हु डिस्कवर्ड द सेल इन सिक्सटीन द बेसिक द बेसिक यूनिट of the life is cell the definition for the cell is structural and functional unit of life structural and functional unit of life is known as the cell how it is the structural unit of the life and how it is the functional unit of life so first of all we will discuss about how cell is the structural unit of life cell is the structural unit of life because when cells aggregate to each other they form the tissue when cell aggregate to cells aggregate to each other they form the tissues and when uh, different types of the tissues aggregate to each other they form the organ and when different types of the organ aggregate to each other they form organ system and in this way when different types of the organ system work simultaneously they make a body they make a body so in this way we can say that the cell is the structural unit of life now next point how the cell is the functional unit of life functional unit of life uh, for this each biochemical process takes place in cytoplasm or cell organelles ab now what do you understand by the biochemical process biochemical process is the new term for you uh, all the chemical processes which takes place all the chemical processes which take place inside a living body are known as the biochemical processes like the respiration like the photosynthesis respiration is the process of the breakdown of the food and photosynthesis is the process for the preparation of the food by the green plants so in this way we can say that the cell is the functional unit of life because each and every biochemical process takes place inside the cell or cell organelles cell organelles are the part of the cell or we can say that the uh, the small structures present inside the cells are known as the cell organelles now next point is shape of cell shape of cell uh, the shape of cell may be polygonal disc like amoeboid thread like cuboidal or irregular it means that the shape of the cell is varies among cell to cell okay with, uh, with uh, different types of the cells are of the different different shapes or we can say that the size and shape of a cell is always related and vary with the function they perform the per function performed by them uh, is responsible for their shape and size here five uh, five diagrams are here which show different shapes of the uh, cell first of all in first diagram uh, here the cells uh, here the cells are Pol uh, uh, round and by concave. Round and by concave. Round means um, th these are the round in the shape uh, from the surface uh, for uh, from the surface view. View. If we see the cell from the side view, they uh, they are by concave in shape. What is the meaning of the by concave? By concave means the cells are uh, narrower in the middle portion and broad in the and portions okay second is the mesophyll cells these cells are round and oval in shape round and oval now mesophyll cells is another um, is a most important term for you because it is a new term for class 9th mesophyll cells are the cells which are found in the leaves of a plant uh, in the leaves of a plant these cells are found in the leaves of a plant they are round and oval in shape and their function is uh, their, their function is the process of photosynthesis they do the process of photosynthesis for this function they contain a lot of uh, a large amount of the chlorophyll now next is it is a nerve cell nerve cell are found in the animal bodies and nerve cells are irregular in shape they are irregular in shape there is a no particular shape for the nerve cells now next is the columnar epithelial cells columnal columnal epithelial cells are found in the animal body and they are the part of the epithelium of the body they are long and narrow we can see that they are long and narrow in the structure now next is uh, these are the wbcs wbcs means uh, white blood cells white blood cells they are found in our blood they are amoeboid in structure and these cells are very important because they do the functions uh, they do uh, different types of the function in our body and the main function is to fight against the germs 
is to fight against the germs and the rbc's full form is red blood cells red blood cells and their function is the transportation of the oxygen okay their function is the transportation of the oxygen okay now next point about the cell is size of cell these are end lengths where there are end lengths variation it means that they are uh, the size of the cell is also varies okay and the, uh, for example the smallest smallest cell is pplo the full form of pplo is pleuro pneumonia like organism and its size is about 0.3 mu meter in length and uh, the PPLO is also called the mycoplasma or joker of the plant kingdom. It is the smallest known cell. Now, second point is the largest cell, ostrich egg, about 170 into 135 millimeter. This is the size and it is the largest cell in the world. And the longest cell in the world is the nerve cell and the size of the nerve cell is about 90 to 100 centimeter. Okay, guys, in the next video, we will discuss about the uh, cell theory.